What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Myers World and what we're going to be talking about is the Ultimate Legend Jerry Rice that's going to be getting released on June 16, 2018. Uh, he probably won't be out when you watch this video but he'll be coming very soon and the question that I got about him is, is he worth it to invest in him right now? Now, a lot of things are going on with Madden. Let's just go ahead and break it down. We have the rookie premiere coming very soon. We have the blockbusters that you guys should have already voted on. Um, if you're not aware of what I'm talking about, uh, these are the votes right now. You have to play the solos, and then you can vote for any one of the five for each position right here. The other positions will be coming shortly. And then I guess EA will go ahead and roll all those 99 overalls out. But the biggest thing that people want to know is if Jerry Rice is going to be worth it. Now, he maxes out at 99 speed, but he comes with 97, all right? Now, if you pick the toughness, Ken, when you put them together, uh, obviously he's going to be a little bit, you know, he's going to go to the 98 speed, and then if you have John Madden coach, he's going to go to 99 speed. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a look at the last Jerry Rice card that was made so we can kind of evaluate it because this is what I do before I suggest that you guys spend coins or do whatever with your hard-earned stuff that you guys do, whether you play solos, however you do it. Um, it's still something that I feel that you shouldn't just, you know, that you shouldn't just spend if you don't have to. So let's look at what's going on here, right? We know that all the other stuff like the 99 catching and all that stuff like that doesn't really matter as far as, you know, what's going to happen uh, in the game. Um, if if he, you throw the ball in coverage, sometimes you'll catch it, sometimes you won't. More than likely, you won't. So the catching aspect uh, attribute is not really something that we should pay attention to right now. Um, the speed that we're looking at right now, right? The speed situation is this, right? He's going to a 97 speed stock, all right? Most of you guys are going to know at this point that he's an ultimate legend, so you're going to choose toughness when you make him. Okay, you're not going to choose anything else because it doesn't make any sense to choose anything else. Uh, the toughness is where it's at. So the toughness is going to bring him the 98 speed with a 6'2 height. Okay, now let's look at my receivers right now, right? Now he's only there. Let, let's just let's just kick the facts, all right? Dwight Clark is only there because um, I have to have 99s at every position, and he was the cheapest one that was available at that time. But he he's still 6'4". Now, Calvin Johnson, you'll notice the height differentials, right? A lot of you guys are asking, g you go out, you throw streaks every play. Why do you throw streaks every play? Um, that's I've always done that. I've always, Bro, just check any of my videos, bro. I'm always looking for the streak. I don't care. That's why I get really, really furious when um, they change up the way that you're allowed to beat people deep. Uh, ergo, Madden 16, when they patched it. Prior to the patch, Perriman was the best receiver in the game. Okay, coming out, whatever. Just straight speed, just like the real NFL. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you get a dude that's just fast, he's just going to go. Okay? Um, obviously, when you play different players, I will tell you guys to adjust, run the ball a little bit. But for the most part, you should always be looking for the big play. Because when you always look for the big play, you're going to get it, but it just depends on how well you're playing defense, how the game will turn out. If you can't play D and you're always going for the big play, it's not going to really work out for you in most situations. But that's pretty much what I do. And right now... Um, the height is really, really essential when you're doing like the rack catch and uh, high point passes. So you're looking for people with height. So Calvin Johnson and Harold Carmichael are probably the best wide receivers that are available right now for your use. Okay, he goes to a 96 speed with toughness. This guy goes to a 97 speed. All right, they're beating everybody deep. Randy Moss, ultimate, uh, ultimate legend. Well, not ultimate legend, uh, golden ticket. Um, all the 99 golden ticket cornerbacks are getting burnt by these two guys, Carmichael and Calvin Johnson. And Dwight Clark got lucky in one of my last games and just burnt somebody outright. It was the most ridiculous thing ever. Now, the basis of this is people want to know, does 6'2 at the 98 speed, and some of you guys have John Madden coach, does it matter? Um, would you be able to still get that rack off? Uh, I'm going to tell you like this, right? I've tried shorter receivers, and it's a little bit... Like, even with Randy Moss, that's why I raid sold Randy Moss. Because uh, he... Well, I raid sold him because he's a 98, and then they wouldn't cam him to a 99. That's primarily why. But he went to a 98 speed also. And in most cases, he would not be able to put his arms up for the rat catch with the high point, depending on how you throw it, depending on who your quarterback is, and all those other different scenarios. So, uh, with that being said... I would be very, very careful with the Jerry Rice if you choose to do the Jerry Rice, okay? If you if you go ahead and you buy packs, you, go, you know, look, I'm a Jerry Rice fan or whatever, you're that type of person, um, I would be very, very careful with it if you're looking to do that. Now, if your scheme is different, okay, um, you run, you know, a lot of, you know, post, post routes, you're running C routes, drag, stuff like that, yeah, you're going to be fine. As long as he's open and there's not too much traffic around him, he's going to work out for you as a decent card. But if there's other situations that you have, you may turn out to have a little bit more issue with, you know, what he's actually doing in-game, 
Okay, just so that we're very, very clear with that, I want you guys to understand exactly what I mean. Um, he's not going to do anything too spectacular to where you need to go ahead right now and get this 99 overall Jerry Rice. And to, to more emphasize it, right, we're going to go ahead, we're going to delete this real quick, um, and then we're going to go to the 99 overalls that are available at wide receiver because this is what I always try to make you guys understand. When you're evaluating stuff, see what else is there. Because that will have a big influence on how you spend your coins because you want to get the most out of your coins. Nobody wants to just go out there and just lose all their coins but like, yo, I'm going to go, I'm going to get this guy, you know, whatever. You see what I'm saying? You don't want to do it like that and you're going to notice the toughness chems with the taller receivers are going to be the more expensive. Okay, so Randy Moss, his price is low right now because people that want to rack catch, they probably realize like, yo, this guy is not the best guy to do the rack catch with because he's not tall enough, which is weird because 6'4 is usually good. But... Going back to Madden 15, where height was really, really essential, it kind of makes sense that these guys that are 6'5 and above are putting in work. Because in Madden 15, I had Gronkowski out there, tight end, and other tight ends because height was such a factor. Uh, speed wasn't really that much of a big deal because you could just go right in front of the guy, catch the ball, there's nothing they could do. Um, that's why you primarily needed that Richard Sherman um, mutt master in 15 to do anything. But anyway, you'll see the prices based on the way that these guys hide are. Now, now look, this guy right here, with this chem, he's useless because his speed remains the same. You're going to be looking for guys with toughness chem that are tall enough, all right? Now, if there are any, like, he's 6'2". What's Marvin Harrison? Marvin Harrison is an even six foot. Yeah, so he's not, he's not good for that. Even though I think, what does he go to? He does go to, like, okay, he goes to a 98 speed also. But as you go through it, you'll see, like, with the way the prices are, um... You're going to want to make sure that these guys have the essential things that are necessary in order to get, you know, so you can beat your opponent deep. That's pretty much what makes the game fun is being able to go over the top. Now, zone coverage has been a nightmare. And the one thing that I'll tell you is that even if guys come out running cover for a drop, they can't really do anything when you're rat catching them. Okay. So um, with that being said, it's very, very easy to, to uh, you know, to actually get it done. So you'll look at it and see what's available with a lot of these guys before you go and get a Jerry Rice. Because if you were going to spend money, it would make sense for you to get a Calvin Johnson if you wanted to, you know, you know, beat people deep and do stuff like that. Jerry Rice is going to beat people deep if you get an animation like you, you know, you beat him off the press. Maybe somebody presses you and stuff like that. You go ahead, you get the one arm swipe, you go deep, but you're not going to really be able to get the ball over their heads. Okay, and a lot of you guys are running around with Antonio Brown. Um, Fitzgerald, what is what is he? He's 6'2 also? What is Fitzgerald? Oh, he's 6'3. So he probably, yeah, he's, he's shorter than Randy Moss. So he's not going to be able to get the job done. All right? So these, these are the players right now that if they're not releasing any more of these players, it doesn't really matter. Even with this guy, the golden ticket Randy Moss. Even with him, you know, being able to get chemmed out to a 99 with John Madden coach. He's, all these other stats don't mean anything. Um, he's going to still operate along the same lines as any other receiver. If he's in traffic, if you throw the ball and it's like a close call, it's not going to work out for you. So based on that, I don't. I think that golden ticket primarily, unless you have John Madden coach, is pretty much useless. That golden ticket it was a waste of um, a golden ticket. But these are the cards, like I said, Calvin Johnson and Carmichael with toughness. Those are the cards that I would really try to invest in instead of getting the Jerry Rice. If you guys, you know, for the people that ask, what do I think about it? That's, you know, what I think about it. Um, I'm not going to be looking to get him either. Now, remember, in Madden 19, we don't know how it's going to operate. They may actually fix it where the game mechanically operates like 25 or uh, even 15, where, you, you know, once you get a step, you got the step. Or even go back to 16 prior to the patch. If that happens, it won't really matter what the height is. You understand what I'm saying? It's all about mechanically where the game is. That's the only thing that really matters. If you're not able to understand the way the game mechanically works... Uh, it's going to be very, very difficult for you for you know for you to understand how to beat your opponent deep. You have to the, the height is a huge factor uh, with the way that it works. So that's what you'll be looking for. You're looking for the tallest receivers, and um, pretty much I want to go ahead and let you guys understand. I do have Gronkowski uh, currently, and um, it's not like Madden 15. So you you know I'll get lucky every now and again, and I'll be able to beat somebody deep. I'll go to my team right now and show you what's going on. You'll be able to beat somebody deep when you want to uh, high point uh, rack catch them. But for the most point, you're going to want to have somebody with a little bit more speed. Um, Shannon Sharp, who's the ultimate starter, he's 6'2", so he doesn't really apply. Um, I could probably get rid of him and just keep Grunk because I'm not really doing anything with him. And he doesn't really, I don't know, but he's a playmaker though, so I could, you know, maneuver him easier. But Grunkowski, in Madden 15, he would have been a goon. 
with these same stats, 88 speed, stuff like that, he would have been an outright goon. But it, it, this is not the same thing. The guys stay around you. You can't really maneuver in any specific type of way. So you have to be careful with that if you're going to be doing it. If, look, like if your guys are going for height based on the way that I'm explaining uh, the way the rack catch high point pass works. So those are just some pointers you'd want to know before you go ahead and spend your coins on Jerry Rice going forward. And in addition, like I said, I'm only waiting for three cards. I'm waiting for a right tackle and my punter and kicker, possibly from the blockbusters, to go ahead and make my squad a 99. So with that being said, um, if you're a Jerry Rice fan and you want to complete maybe a 49er squad or something like that, that's different. You can go ahead and go for it. But if you're looking to elevate your squad to a different level um, by being able to beat your opponent deep on a regular basis, you might want to go ahead and look at some of the other wide receivers that are available before you spend your coins on the Jerry Rice. Um, there are additional... Um, cards that are going to be coming out as well but that's the only one that really you know they got like an abraham card right end i'm not really worried about that so i'm not going to go into that uh, i'm looking at the actual wide receiver position to kind of help you guys out with the questions that you're asking me about the high point and what works with it so uh you know i go six five and above and carmichael and calvin johnson pretty much fits that criteria so with the tight end you probably in the seam can get away with it but on the outsides you want to go with faster receivers that are tall all right. Hopefully this was informative to you guys. Uh, I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. Be sure to subscribe. G Myers World. One love.